Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm at another lake today in Lake Wells, Florida. Um, I've been out here before, so it's a very beautiful lake. I love coming out here. I haven't been out here in probably a year or so, so hopefully I can figure out what the bass are uh, keened in on and we can get some fish in the boat. So, as always, I appreciate you guys for watching. Now let's go catch them. All right. I'm, uh, I think I'm going to start with these little culprit curly tail worms. These are old, but they're uh, the tequila shad. Last time I was out here, these work really well. A friend of mine told me that he, um, he grew up on this lake and these are all he uses, all he used to use. So um, let's try and use these again, see if I can get any bites with this. I might try some top water. I don't know. But we'll see. It's a very clear lake. Visibility is probably. I mean, I'm probably in six foot of water and I can see the ground. So, it's a super clear lake. Alright, I have this top water popper on. I'm going to see if I can get any bites with it. Oh, there we go, little guy. <laughs> little guy just kind of swiped at it. All right, wouldn't say that's a top five contender, but skunks out of the boat. So, all right, and on a top water, I'll take that any day. Thank you, buddy. I'm not sure if they're bedding in here or not. I think if they did, if I'm thinking that they probably already finished their spawn, but I don't, I'm not for sure. I mean, I'll be looking for beds, but I want to say they probably finished spawning already in this lake. Because the water definitely isn't, isn't cold. But it's definitely a beautiful morning to be out on the lake. <laughs> Another little one. It's so weird. They're not fighting at all. Oh, there he goes. I need to get my net. <laughs> Still not going to get on the board for maybe top five, but it's another one on the top water. Thank you, buddy. And looks like the fog's rolling back in. All right, I switched back to this crankbait. See if it'll get me any bites. Oh man. There's one. There we go. Oh, he's barely hooked. All right, another little guy, but it's okay. We're getting on him. Thank you, buddy. Hoping maybe I can use this jerk bait along 
the grass line here and they'll come out and grab it once they see it, but I'm not sure. Oh, there's one. There we go. There we go. He smoked that thing. This guy's probably... He's probably the biggest of the day. The fattest. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. There he goes. <laughs> There's one. Ah, oh, I think I lost him what in the world <laughs> that's so funny a little bluegill I think There's one. There we go. Finally got one on the on a worm. Another little guy. It's okay though. All right, well guys, I don't think I had it recording. But I did just catch another little one pounder. Um, for some reason, he was sitting right below my kayak, right for like five minutes. I don't know. It took him forever, but he finally bit my lure. But he just kept sitting there. I don't know why. But now I put on switch into the jerk bait again. I want to see if maybe there's any sitting under these docks or anything that I can. Pull them out with. So, now it'd be real nice if I could maybe catch some bigger ones. Hopefully, we can maybe get on a few bigger ones before we get out. So, we'll see. Jeez. <laughs> this little guy about pulled the rod out of my hand. It's probably about the smallest one of the day. <laughs> there he goes. Man, some big old bluegill over there. Oh, I do have a fish. <laughs> That's so funny. Honestly. Nice. Good little healthy guy. He's uh, kind of darker than all the others. But, cool little fish. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, there used to be a dock 
right there somewhere that these people tore down. Is that a fish? Oh, it is. Okay. Oh, well, here's the biggest one of the day. There we go. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, my rod's stuck. There we go. Nice. Pound and a half. Nice little healthy guy. Nice. Finally getting some size on there. Pretty fish. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate the fight. There he goes. <laughs> Got another little squeaker. Oh wow, he's barely hooked. At like the skin of his mouth. <laughs> I was literally re reeling it in. Once again, like, felt like it was stuck on the grass. And then I just seen this guy just try and take off with it. <laughs> Little squeaker. Still fun though. Thank you, buddy. Man, I was going to try and keep track of how many I caught today, but I've lost count. I think we might be at 10. I'm not too sure. I think we were at 10, 9, 10, 11, something like that. Ooh, there. Ah, he spit it. No, did he? No, he didn't. Oh, that's a nice one. Oh, sweet. I thought for sure he spit the hook. Just over a pound and a half. A little bit bigger than the the last one I just caught. Nice. Sweet. Just cruising by the dock. Thanks, buddy. There he goes. cast all right guys currently heading room right now turned out to be a pretty good day I think we managed to catch about 10 or 12 so it was a really good day um, the bait of the day is definitely gonna be the um, tequila shad ribbon tail made by culprit um, if you guys are curious about some of the other baits or gear that I use, I'm going to try and put some of it in the description below so you can check it out. Um, I appreciate all you guys for tuning in and watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe for more. I'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya!